Guys, welcome. Subscribe, like, comment. We're going to start doing reaction videos. You're going to like it. We're going to do a fair few of them, yeah, SG? Yeah, let's go. So, guys, stay tuned. Hope you like it, yeah? This one's the Wii Robot. Uh, robots, driverless cars. Well, that's a scary time we're coming in, man. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we have this or should we still have uh, people driving vehicles, maids, human, or I don't know? Let's see this. So they've been traveling. They're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, that, we have 50 Fucking fully autonomous cars here tonight. Yeah! Uh, so you'll see Model Ys and the Cyber Cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the Cyber Cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. What do you reckon of that? How many jobs is that just going to take? Well, Uber, yeah. taxi, public transport, you reckon? Maybe in the future. Uber? He looks... I don't know, man. He Uber, gives me Uber, like... Uber Eats. Who's going to jump out and grab the food? I don't know. Maybe the door comes. You come to the door, it opens up, you grab your food and it just drives off. Oh, fuck it. You don't know, bro. That's shit service, bro. <laughs> he, you're right. He does look like a super, uh, like a, like he a looks super like villain. A super villain. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. He does. I don't trust him. To be honest. <laughs> no one's gonna be driving anymore, man. Yeah, but bro, I don't know. Would you want something like that? Would you use public transport like that? Nah, but I, I wouldn't mind having something like that at I, home. I wouldn't mind having one. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, a hundred percent. But the whole point of putting it in public and people getting around, like, imagine, there's no more jobs. Imagine, imagine all those jobs. Imagine driving to work. So Guys, there's going to be no more jobs if we're screwed. Imagine, anyway. ha imagine having a nap on the way to work. Yeah, bro, it's bad. Mad. It's bad, bro. That, that's good. Yeah. But could you imagine the guy that's that sick. used to be a driver? Yeah. And now he's watching that car go by and he's like, fuck. That's yeah, bad, man. Skewing. All right, let's get back. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, right. and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 that. cents a mile. That's pretty cool. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> Interesting. You're going to buy one? You reckon something like that will pay itself off? Yeah, like, if you're going to put you, it out and, you, like... If you think about it... No, no, I'm talking about pay itself off. Yeah, so that driver can probably buy one and just use it for the same reasons. He doesn't even have to work. That's true, but how many people can afford one? Yeah, but, I mean, he's saying the cost yeah. is one-fifth right they look of, cool of what it costs to run a car they look sick look at them which means yeah it, he's saying the cost is, is one fifth exactly yeah he said it's yeah. about a dollar a mile and this will be 20 cents a mile yeah so if you look at it that way the money he's saving it's paying that off but say if the, say if I mean, say if you can't buy them and the company like uber buys all of them so what are you going to use what do you mean buys all of them? Like say, because Uber's a, a massive company, it's got big money. Yeah. Say if they go and put a thousand, twenty thousand vehicles out like that. Yeah. What's going to happen then? Mm. If you buy one, you're kind of screwed. Because their prices, you're not going to be able to beat. Yeah, that's true. But U Uber's, Uber's <coughs> different. Uber's different. I mean. You got Uber Eats and Uber. Yeah, so but, what else can you use it for? But Uber's concept, the whole concept of Uber, it doesn't work like that. Why? Because Uber would then just employ its own drivers and employ its own everything. It's just going to employ its own vehicles. And, and buy you a car. Do you know what I mean? Uber doesn't buy you a car and employ a driver. No, Uber, it doesn't. Uber, Uber works off someone using their own car, their own everything, mm. and they make a cut off whatever. 100%. You know, percent. So what's going to stop Uber from saying, you know what, we don't need anyone anymore. Mm. We've got 
Uber Future or some shit. And they just get these. No driver, no nothing. Yeah, can I get picked up? No worries. Vic will be there with and whatever. The car, could you imagine that? Could you imagine you're driving and you just see them want to just pull up next to you? No one's in the car and it just drives off. But that's shit. Like, I don't, you know what? Okay. Let's say we get to that point, yeah? Mm. Okay, who, who, right now there's accountability for accidents. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right now there's obviously you pay Rego, you pay this, you pay that. You probably still, as a company, might have to pay Rego for him. But if there was an accident or if there was a fatality, who's, who's liable? You're probably going to, there's going to be some sort of liability. But, bro, if this is just the start of it, picture in yeah. five years' time. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to be down pat. They'll basically just replace cars. They're going to replace people as well with driving yeah. jobs. Like you can go have a lease company, like a car hire company, smaller one, and you could lease them out. Like someone needs to get picked up, driven yeah. around. Yeah. They're just a lot cheaper. Generally. Imagine having that car and not paying the driver. Okay, as so a business, well, like, so as a yeah, business yeah, standpoint, so in, it's pretty good. So in transport industry, it's going to affect that 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah. But what does it change in general in society total as, as, a, as a whole? Forget about just – we're looking at one specific industry. Now look at it – look at the bigger picture. I'm – me personally, I'm a very old school person. If you told me to go electric, I'll tell you to get fucked. That's like me as well. Yeah. But what about the young people? It's different. See, it's – that – Look, at the end of the day, it's all it's it's evolution. People are just gonna keep going into the future and, and keep, you know, excelling with technology. And I think things like this create new roles, new jobs, new everything. Look, it's you know, it's like, it's unbelievable tech, but yeah. I think more jobs will be lost than gained. True, but I think like the more I, I think the your normal man can work as an Uber driver and stuff yeah, like that. Look, the world's not everyone changing, is, yeah. The world is changing. So mm. before automobiles, before cars in general. Everyone was on horses, right? Yeah. Then there was cars, which created, which created mechanical roles. Yeah. People that work in, in mm -hmm. mechanics. So, I, I I believe, when it comes to this stuff, technology and that, it all balances itself out as time goes on. That's that's my opinion on that. All right, bro. Let's find out. Bro, look at that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Look at that. Uh, and. Uh, we, we expect the cost to be below thirty thousand dollars. But that was yeah. thirty. Thirty no, grand is US. The cost, the cost he's talking about. Okay. That's not what it's going to retail for. There's no chance. It will probably be about a hundred grand here. Yeah, most likely. That's a very cheap car, bro. For what you get. For what you get, yes. A hundred percent it is. Let's see. We do expect actually to to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD. Uh, in Texas and California next year. Next G, unsupervised. unsupervised. That, that's, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. So there's two models. Unsupervised next G. Does he tell you the difference between Model 3 and Model Y? I don't know. We're going to have to look that up afterwards. Fuck. Let's see, bro. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the Cyber Cab, which is really... Um, Highly optimized for autonomous transport. Sounds like a robot. Uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames, um, but but in tw in in 2026. So, yeah, before 2027. Let me put it that way. <laughs> when you when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no right. pedals, no controls, and it feels great. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So yeah, it's kind of how it should be. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what? Well, what's that? A hundred percent these guys are villain. I need that one looks of, like a bad man's car. I need one of them. You need one of them, mate. Yeah, I need one of them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that looks pretty sick, man. Bro, you know what I'm thinking? I'm not even thinking of that now. You know what I'm thinking? Imagine an RV like that. 
That's crazy. Imagine the way that looks RV. there. Wow. Bro, who who needs houses? No. Who needs houses after that? Having an RV like that, you could live anywhere you want. Yeah. You could live anywhere on any given day that you want. Yeah. I feel like living on a farm. That's fucking insane. But bro, look how nice that looks. Let's play this. What happens if you That's need a vehicle itself. that uh, is bigger than a Model itself. Y? The, the Reboven. The Reboven is... Uh, this is a, we're, we're going to make this. And it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. You're just talking about transport and that as well. Look at that, bro. Game changer with transport. Courier, yeah. see you later. Buses, see you later. Courier driver, Bus buses, drivers. Yeah. Uh, light transport. And, and how long would it take them to produce a truck? And not just that. If it's going to be for transport, you could take all those chairs out. That looks, bro. That, that's what I'm saying. That, mean. look at that. Look at that, bro. Sick, bro. That is nice, man. Change too, man. That, that's, that'll bring up a lot of concepts. Like, you can deck that out how you want. So, for example, it's like when you fly first class and you fly coach. Like yeah. Economy. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you can actually charge more to have recliners. Yeah. Bro, that's well. That is very nice. Let's play this, bro. So this is gonna. <laughs> the Reboven is what's gonna solve for high density. So if you if you want to take a sports team somewhere, or um, you're looking to to really get uh, the cost of travel down to I don't know five ten cents a mile, then you can use the Reboven. Some people call it the Robovan, but. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of robots, so everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. That's Skynet, bro. <laughs> That's Terminator right there, bro. That's the end of our future right there. I can understand about cars. They are the new workers. Guys, they're the new workers, guys. We are all... What do you reckon of that, bro? I'd buy one. <laughs> that looked pretty sick, but straight out. Fucking hell. Imagine coming home to that. I want a robot dog. No, I was born Imagine having a robot pet. What, what about a robot dog? wife? Turn them off whenever you want. What do you reckon? <laughs> you want to cut that out or? Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We'll leave it. <laughs> Bro, have you watched that movie, I, Robot? There was yeah. a short getting around. Did you see one of them shorts? Yeah. It's on TikTok or YouTube or something where they're comparing I, the movie, I, Robot, to what? To what Elon Musk. Bro, and that, it, it looks very similar, man. It does. It, it's very, very similar. But That's kind of... They've got more advanced shit than that, bro. They, they've actually got, like, full-on cyborgs. Yeah, but it's just that... That's that's affordable, but bro. Wow. Let's play it. Let's play it. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit. Uh, sort of... Down, and then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think nerds. at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars Probably less, less than a car, is my prediction. Far out, man. $20,000 $20, for that, bro. That's a game changer. Bro, of course it is. That's a complete game changer. That is going to put a lot of people out of business, out of work. That's going to fuck everyone.
Because can you imagine, even manual handling, that's not going to complain about its back. It's not going to have a break. It's not going to have a break. It's it doesn't need to go to the injured. toilet. It yeah. doesn't need to go have food. The only thing it needs is a charge. Productivity through the roof. Mm. Not normal. But if you're... Could you imagine getting three, four of them, opening up a cleaning business, send a robot into someone's house, he cleans the house, boom, 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 thank you very much, just collect the money. All you got to do is just dust this guy off. It's insane. But that's actually very scary, man. That's not normal. Guys... Tell us in the comments what you guys think, honestly. But I think it's cool, but it's scary at the same that time. That completely eliminates the middle class instantly. Yeah. What about the industry we're in? If they get advanced. Obviously, we, you know, I would talk about in Australia. In Australia, we're over-regulated, I believe. Um, but there's always a way. Like, it's eventually going to get there, like... The industry we're in, fuck. That oh, thing would be so productive. I, I would love to buy one just to see how it is around the house. If my hand, I can just clean up. Can you just do the toilet? Can you clean the, that the toilet? <laughs> fuck, you know. That thing's spying on you and listening to you all day. <coughs> Bro, everything spies on you. Everything, yeah. Your phone spies on you. Your phone, your yeah. fridge, your cameras, your, you know, your doorbell. There's nothing that doesn't spy on you. TV, internet, everything that's connected to your that's Wi-Fi. Insane. But look, you know, for like people disabled, that's actually a big game changer for them. That could be with them 24-7 yeah, if bro, it's capable yeah. of doing the things that do needs to do. Do you know what's scary about this? If it turns. Forget about if it turns. Let's say it doesn't turn. You're going to get hackers, people that know their shit, actually fuck with that and change that and mm. make it do other shit. Maybe, yeah, you're right, bro. Do you know what I mean? Imagine robbing a bank with three of these. Who the fuck's going to stop it? They're like a red button where you can just turn it off. But by then, you, you know what? The tellers will be all those too. Though. They'd be outnumbered, the robbers, won't they? Yeah, bro. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, but let's see. Long term. Now, you know, take us a minute to get to the long term. But, um, but fundamentally, at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, or babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. Babysit my kids, my fucking ass, bro. Get out of here. No chance of leaving that thing with my kids. Bro, what the hell? Bro. That's not normal. That's, that, that's, that's not actually normal. pretty scary, That's man. a game changer. 100% it's a but game changer. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to have one at home. That's, that's, yeah. That is mad. Bro, that's a sick toy. Like, remember, Bro. remember as kids, everyone wanted like this, a robot toy. Everyone wanted something like that. Like a transformer. My son tells me he wants a robot. You can get those little robots. I bought one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, a little tiny one. Imagine having a, a, a robot Bro, like that. Bro, imagine. just does everything for could you. Could you imagine you leave the home, it's messy. And you tell him, go, listen, we all got to go. Can you just do one, two, three, four, take, put the washing in, clean yeah. all the dishes, make sure the toilet's clean, please. While you're there, I've got one car at home. Can you just wash that? If there's any mail thing, please do not open the door if anyone knocks. Please, I beg you. And just go, if there's anything else, vacuum. Let me know. If there's any drama, could you imagine if they can call you? What do you need, blah, blah. Oh, what else can you? Like, bro, that's that's... That's that's crazy. Okay, could you imagine this? Sense. Could you imagine this? He's saying 30k for something like that or cheaper than a car. Can you imagine what you can do with one million dollars? Oh. What what kind of business you can build, what kind of a life you can live with a million bucks? Mm -hmm. Well, man. Yeah. Guys, give us comments on that. That was a pretty good reaction video, man. I like it. Guys, till next time. Next reaction video. Guys, give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, guys. See you later. Bye-bye, bye-bye.